all of it. So each of these individual components breaks down to zero to get the right side of the equation zero. So the first one we can break down to two. Actually, well, all right, so sol solving for this left one, we can get two sine squared x is equal to one, divide three by two. We get sine squared x is equal to one half square root of both sides. We get sine of x is equal to one, plus or minus one over square root of two, or uh, sine of x is equal to plus or minus square root of two over two, either way. And that's gonna be true at pi over four, two, three pi over four, five pi over four, seven pi over four. And then um, tangent square root of x equals three, square root of both sides, um, tangent, is equal to tangent of x is equal to plus or minus the square root of three. That's going to be true at um, square root of three because it's y over x. So it's going to be true at so square root of three over two divided by one half is equal to square root of three. So it's going to be true at pi over three, two pi over three, four pi over three, and five pi over three. So um, so our x value is going to be equal to pi over 4 plus pi n and 3 pi over 4 plus pi n. And that covers pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and all its coterminals, and 3 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4, and all its coterminals. And then we're going to have um, this. the next one will be covering the tangent, which is going to be pi over 3 plus pi n. And then um, pi over, excuse me, four pi, no, excuse me, I'll get there. Two pi over three plus pi n. And that's it. All right, I hope this helped you out. I appreciate you watching the video and you have a fantastic day.